Chapter 92, A Snail, 2. At this time, Li Kai placed his hand on top of the snail's gigantic body, and a bright light flew out from the snail, disappearing into the middle of Li Kai's eyebrows. After this bright light came out of his body, the giant snail's entire body shook. He could finally stand up slowly. A pot of extremely nutritious medicine is cooked, Li Kai said. Since you are now following me, I will allow you to drink it. Hearing this, the giant snail didn't know whether to laugh or cry. This one pot was made from his own longevity blood. Ah, so, you don't want to drink? If you don't want to drink, the two of them will drink it all, Li Kai said as he pointed at Nan Huaren and his master. Drink. I will drink. Why would I not drink? The giant snail was actually afraid that the master and disciple would compete with him so he rushed into the giant pot to drink gulp by gulp. The medicinal pot was made from his own longevity blood. If he didn't drink it, then his loss would be even greater. His wounds would require a longer time to recover, too. Finally, the giant snail finished the whole medicinal pot, and he took a deep breath. He just took a trip from hell and back. Here, Li Kai commanded the giant snail, saying, Withdraw your body. The giant snail crushed his incantations, and he quickly transformed. A thin, old man with dry flesh appeared in front of them. There were two tiny pairs of flesh on his forehead, and, at the same time, there was also a small shell behind him that seemed like a shield. Yikes. This is, this is your true body? Nan Huaren was a little dazed. The old man in front of them versus his initial form was too contrasting. The snail was like a small mountain, but this thin and dried old man in front of them seemed as if a breeze could fall him in one pass. No, this is the second body. The old man shook his head, and he smiled. Earlier was my real body. This old man is Nai Ufen. Earlier, I was blinded by greed and my eyes were obscured by a single leaf, offending this young noble. Hick, Nai Ufen shit. Hearing his words, Nan Huaren rolled his eyes wide open as he asked. There, there is such a name like this. The old man gazed at Nan Huaren. He somewhat embarrassingly said. It is Nai Ufen effort. Fen as in to put an effort. My misunderstanding. My misunderstanding. Nan Huaren was embarrassed. He forced a smile while he busily apologized. Even Li Xuang Yun, standing to the side, wanted to laugh. But she couldn't under the current circumstances. She decided to hide her amusement in her heart. Without the giant body from earlier, the current Nai Ufen, who was thin and wizened, gave Nan Huaren a warm feeling, causing him to be much more friendly. To Nai Ufen, he was asked. Grandpa Nai U, you are digging a hole at the ancient land of our cleansing incense ancient sect. What are you trying to find? Don't tell me you want to find the treasures of our sect. I am just digging casually. Also, this place has been visited by countless amounts of people. If there really was a treasure, it wouldn't be my turn to find it. Nai Ufen angrily glared at Nan Huaren. If Grandpa Nai isn't here to dig for treasures, why did you dig such a deep hole? Nan Huaren didn't give up and continued to question him. Li Kai glanced at Nai Ufen and said, He is looking for the God of Calamity. God of Calamity? Who is the God of Calamity? Nan Huaren was at a loss. He stared at Li Kai. And then he looked at Nai Ufen. Protector Mo's expression was shaken. He stared at Nai Ufen. And he said with surprise, He is trying to find the Heavenly Guardian of our cleansing incense ancient sect. Hearing these two words Heavenly Guardian, Nan Huaren was also surprised, exclaiming, In the legends, it is said to be the strongest existence in our cleansing incense ancient sect, with the exception of the patriarch. No one was able to win a match against the heavenly guardian. Ninfen had to admit the truth. I was simply looking. I heard your heavenly guardian had left much earlier. I only wanted to go through this land to see if the great elder had left some words behind. Perhaps I could have stumbled upon something profound. If the heavenly guardian was still here, then our cleansing incense ancient sect wouldn't be like it is today. Nan Huaren had heard about the heavenly guardian before, and he couldn't help but murmur. There were many legends about the heavenly guardian of the cleansing incense ancient sect. Heavenly guardians. Not all sects have them. Only the extremely powerful sects or faithful sects were able to have heavenly guardians. As for the origin of the heavenly guardian, there was essentially no imitation. It could be a heavenly beast, a longevity spirit, or maybe even other existences. Under many circumstances, the heavenly guardians exist alongside their sects. After the sect was destroyed, the heavenly guardians could leave. The cleansing incense ancient sect once had a heavenly guardian. This protector was called the god of calamity. This heavenly guardian was extremely strong. It was so strong that the future generations believed that even during the era of Minutes Ren, Outside of Minutes Ren himself, no one could pose this heavenly guardian. Later on when cleansing incense ancient sect was able to stand strong, to a certain extent, it was due to this existence. Regarding the origin of the protector, there were many different legends. One stated that the protector came from a burial ground. Another believed that the protector was born in the ancient earth. Some believed that it was subdued by immortal emperor Minutes Ren from an external space. The heavenly guardian guarded the cleansing incense ancient sect era after era but one day, it suddenly left for unknown reasons. Afterwards, it completely disappeared without a trace and no one had ever seen it again. Many people assumed that it disappeared 50,000 years ago. Even more people thought that it left much earlier. However, they could only guess since the cleansing incense ancient sect simply withheld the information from others. As for why it suddenly left, after protecting the sect for so long, no one knew why, including the disciples of the cleansing incense ancient sect during that period. It became a mystery without an answer. Young master, where are we going now? Are we returning back? At this moment, Protector Mo asked Li Kai. No, you guys will bury me underground now. Bury? Bury underground? Hearing Li Kai's words, Nan Huaren was stupefied. After recovering, he said, Oldest brother, this, this is an ominous sign. Ah, bury me. Now, Li Kai didn't want to waste words. 
and he commanded Protector Mo. Finally, Li Kai chose the location, and he was buried under the highest peak of the ancient land. In addition, it was very deep underground. Nai Ufen had to personally dig a hole for Li Kai before being able to place him down. Is oldest brother okay? Li Kai suddenly wanted to bury himself. This greatly shocked Nan Hui. If his oldest brother was not completely normal at the moment, he would have thought that Li Kai might have become crazy. It is all right. Li Xiuangin shook her head. She didn't say anything else. Even though she didn't know why Li Kai wanted to bury himself, she knew that there must be reasons for his actions. It is only a kind of ritual. Nai Ufen carefully observed Li Kai's chosen location, the method of the burial, and he finally said, this is an extremely rare ritual that can be considered a method of communication. Communication? With what? What kind of existence is he trying to communicate with by burying himself so deep? Nan Huaren couldn't hold on to his curiosity, so he asked. Regarding Nan Huaren's inquisition, Nai Ufen didn't give an answer. He didn't know what Li Kai was trying to communicate with, but he felt that this matter was extremely important. Li Kai was buried underneath the earth for five days and five nights. Finally, he personally crawled up from the ground. We shall go back. In the end, crawling up from the mud, he only said this sentence and nothing else. Nan Huaren's heart was simmering with curiosity. He really wanted to ask but seeing the disappointment on Li Kai's face, he didn't dare to do so. If Li Kai didn't want to say it, it would be of no avail no matter who asked. Eventually, Nai Ufen used his true body to carry the group of Li Kai back. When he shifted back to his true body, his crawling speed made Nan Huaren's jaw drop to the floor. It could be compared with lightning. He was incredibly fast, and many flying treasures wouldn't be able to keep up with this speed. What was more amazing was that he could crawl in complete silence or be extremely thunderous. It was completely under his control, and no matter the style he chose, the speed remained the same. Sitting on the snail's back, Nan Huaren was completely stunned. In fact, even his master was astonished. This was their first time riding a snail, and it was also the fastest snail. Grand Panayu, what is a heavenly ancestral snail? Thinking about what Li Kai had said, Nan Huaren curiously asked. This name, he had never heard of it before. The heavenly ancestral snail was a name that was very foreign to him. A very rare and ancient existence that, after they became their own tribe, people in this world would rarely see. Nai Ufen didn't get a chance to answer before Li Kai started speaking, seeing Li Kai's mood improving. Nan Huaren became emboldened, and he smiled. Oldest brother, the 18 solutions you spoke of, what is it? Li Kai only glanced at him, and he didn't say anything. It is the true fate solution of our heavenly ancestral calamity, Nai Ufen answered. He yearned for Li Kai to speak of the 18 solutions because it was very important to him. True fate solution? This is a technique? Or is it an emperor merit law? Nan Huaren continued. Nai Ufen quickly shook his head and said, No, it is not a technique and not a profound truth either. In some sense, it was the true solution to break the cursed shackles of our heavenly ancestral calamity. Shackles? Eighteen chains of shackles? Once freed from the eighteen shackles, what would happen? Nan Huaren continuously asked many questions. Nai Ufen contemplated for a moment, and he finally said, I don't know this myself because I have never heard of another keen member being able to learn the eighteen solutions. I only heard of some legends that once had obtained the eighteen solutions. If there are gods in the heavens, then we would be able to slay gods. Hearing this, not only Nan Huaren, but Li Xuangin was also shocked slaying gods. What kind of shocking words were these? Finally, they understood why Nai Ufen was willing to be a servant. As for Li Kei, he simply smiled. The 18 solutions was a distant memory for him. It was not a technique nor a secret method. This was why this part of his memories had not been erased. 